Hello everyone, I am doing this video for a good friend of mine who is having problems with her computer. Her name is Sandra and her channel is The Soul Food Queen. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use the Viva Video app for Android on your phone to edit a uh, video. Okay, so I am going to select the Square app that says Viva Video on the bottom row of my uh, desktop on my phone. It has a star in the middle, so I'm going to select that now. And we'll give it a minute to open. I've been using Viva Video for about a good maybe six months. I find it so convenient and it's very easy to use. And um, you can get things done quickly. And when you have uh, issues with uh, time, uh, this is the best app. You don't have to take it to your computer, upload it, and wait for it to import and export. Uh, on the computer, you do everything right here on the phone. You uh, capture your video, your pictures, and then you put uh, your movie together. So it's loaded now. I'm gonna select at the top in the orange box. It says edit video. If you select the slideshow, it will uh, populate a theme for you. If you don't like the theme, you can select no theme, but um, you don't have a lot of options when you do the slideshow um, in terms of um, making your video really pop and giving it all the features that you want. So I always select edit video. So that's what I'm going to do now. Edit video. And what it does next is it pulls up all the videos that you have taken. Um, so I'm going to do like a really quick one. At the top it says video. When you select video, um, the drop down menu shows you video or photo. So I want to do video first. And I have a small video here with uh, me and Mr. G. We were on my um, on the way to church. So I'm going to select this video. It's only five seconds, but um, that's the video I'm going to select. Then it goes down on your storyboard. And I'm going to go to the bottom and select add. Now I want to... Go back up to the top where it says video to the drop down menu. I am going to select that and I am going to select photo. I want to attach a photo with this. So you see there are some pictures of Mr. G and myself. So I'm going to select two pictures. One and it will drop down on the storyboard and I'm going to select two. And that will drop down on the storyboard. So now you see I have a small movie or film clip and then two pictures. If you don't want them, the X in the right hand corner, you can select the X and it will take them away. So I'll demonstrate that. I'm going to take this one away. Okay. Now I'm going to add it back. Okay, you can also uh, touch the picture or clip and you can move it to a different position by just touching it and dragging it just like that. Okay, now I have my small movie together. I'm going to select next. Okay. <clears throat> What's going on here? Here we go. 
I should have cut my phone off. <laughs> All these notifications. All right. So now you see I have my movie here. And it, at the bottom it says uh, made with Viva video. Sometimes I have to refresh this app because I did pay for it. It's $10 a year, like $9.99. So um, I can refresh it at any time. But I'm going to leave it for right now. Um, and I'll just uh, write over it. Next, um, I'm going to choose a canvas. So right above the storyboard, you have filter. And then next is canvas. So I'm going to touch canvas. And it's an original size. Now I'm going to come down to 16 by 9. And that's the typical uh, size. So this is what it gives me now. Okay, I don't know why. Um, maybe be I, it shouldn't do this. Um, I don't normally have like uh, these sections in uh, the video. When I take a video, I'm not understanding why it's doing that right now. Maybe. Uh, oh, I know why. Because I had I didn't have my phone in landscape. So when you don't have your phone in landscape, you're going to have um, a picture that looks like this or a video that looks like this where you have the image in the middle. But then you kind of see the shadow of it on the left and right side. So always remember when you tape uh, your videos to have your... Uh, phone and landscape uh, mode. So you're just going to turn it. Okay, so there uh, I've selected 16 by 9. So this green check in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to select that green check and it's going to save that for me. Next, um, I'm going to just drag this bar down and see if there's anything else that I want to do here. Um, I could add some transitions, so I'll hit transition, and I am going to drag this down, and I am going to, I will select, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm thinking and talking at the same time, but there's one that I like in particular, um, you know, we'll just go with circle in. I don't want this video to be real long. So I'm going to select circle in. And I'm going to go here. And at the top of these transitions, it says apply to all clips. So I'm going to hit that little circle. And it will put a check. So it's going to apply it to all the clips. And now in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to select the check. So now... When I uh, hit the play button, you're going to see transitions as it goes through each um, clip. Okay, so now that I've done that, <clears throat> at the very bottom, it says theme. I don't typically use themes, but if you like themes, you can go there. The next one says music. So I'm going to select music, okay, and then I'm going to tap or select to add the music. And um, you have your selection of what's online for, uh, that this app offers, but I'm going to go at the top to my music. It says your music. And I am going to just select the second one, Alive in the Summertime. And you've heard this music before, so now I'm going to select Add after I listened to it and decided I wanted that. So Add. And now you can hear the music playing. The bar under the bottom, if you have um, um, 
where you're speaking in your video and you want to be heard, you have an option right up under the play line. The next line is for volume. So I'm going to play it and then I'm just going to slide this button in the center and the music went down when I slid it that way. So I'm going to play again. Now I'm going to slide back towards the left. And that made the volume go up. I'm sorry. Let me do this again. To the right, the volume is higher. Okay, so that's where you add your music. <clears throat> and now I am going to go back down to the bottom to effects. You can also add music from the effects here, but now I'm just going to add text uh, right next to multi-music at the top. And I'm going to put in um, my typical little thing that I do, Age Graceful. So I selected the very first one, and it says Tap to Add Text. And this box will come up, so I'm just going to put in Aged Graceful. And OK. And now I have it here. From here, I can uh, go down to the bottom and I can um, add uh, whatever I want. So let's just say I'm going to add those hearts. OK. So I'm going to reduce the size of these hearts. And this is sometimes tricky to use. You might have to use both hands uh, to get it um, level, but you use the arrow to get it level. And sometimes I have to play with this for a while. <laughs> Uh-oh, come on back around. Okay, but I think you guys get what I'm saying. So I'm just going to put this uh, over here in this corner. It's not really level, but this video is starting to get long. Okay, so I have my age graceful. So I'm going to go down to the bottom and select the green check that you see here in the right, uh, lower right-hand corner. Check. And that finish button you can let it run to the end of the video or you can stop wherever you want the text to stop. So I'm going to hit the green check that I'm satisfied where it is. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to uh, edit clip where the scissors are. And this is my full movie. I'm going to hit the play button. And there you have it. But I need to go back and adjust my music. So let me go back to music because I don't hear it. Okay. Video sound. Okay, that should do it. So I'll go back to edit clip now. Let me play it again. There we go. Okay, so that's it, guys. So once you get this app, you know, these are the basic things that it can do. It can do so much more. Um, but maybe I'll do a part two to show you how to add like the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. The basic, um, uh, basic details that you need to know in order to use the Beva video app. I hope that you enjoy this video because I enjoy doing it for you. Um, and I hope that you all share 
this video. Okay, have a good one. Take care now. Bye.